the final case in the case of translation and rotation. In this case, we have the ball is moving to the right, is rolling to the right without sliding, no sliding. In this case, if you look well, you have the center of mass is at this point. Uh, for the time initial here, and the time final is here. If you look well, the center of mass will move to the right. So this is the initial position of the center of mass, and this is the final position of the center of mass. Okay, this distance equals to what? If you take any point, for example, this point here, during the uh, motion, this point will move from this point to this point, okay? When this point A will arrive to this point, CM will move from this point to this point, okay? So the total distance from the initial position of CM and the final position of CM equals to this arc, this S, the same. Any point, if you take this point at initial time, when the system moves to the right, this point will move on the object from this point to this point, like this. Okay. So the distance between this point and this point equals to S. And you know, S equals to, we have an angle here equals to theta, S equals to R theta. We can say directly S equals to R theta is the distance displaced by the center of mass from here to here and also the displacement of any point on the surface of the ball. Okay, we can say simply this uh, VCM will move with a certain velocity, V of the center of mass from this point to this point. S, the total distance equals to R times theta. V of the center of mass equals to delta S divided by dt. Equals to D divided by dt R times theta. During the motion, R is constant you can put it out of the integral. We get here R d theta divided by dt, and you know d theta by dt equals to omega, okay? You have the relation, we have theta, we have omega equals to d theta divided by dt, and you have alpha equals to d omega divided by dt, like x v a. Okay, in the case of x, we have v equals to d x by dt and a equals to dv divided by dt. Simple relation. So here we get r omega. So we can say directly v of cm equals to r omega. r is the radius of the ball and omega at this moment, because at initial time, we have omega initial, and as a final time, we have omega final. It depends if you want to calculate VCM at this time, or at this time, or at any time. We can say, for example, at time T initial, we have omega initial and we have alpha initial okay and at the time t1 for example t1 we have omega 1 and we have alpha 1 
at the time t2, we have omega 2 and we have alpha 2. In this case, we have, we can calculate VCM. In the first case, we have uh, VCM equals to R omega 1. In the second case, we have VCM equals to R omega 2. Okay, what about the acceleration? In this case, we have A, uh, ACM. ACM equals to dV CM divided by dt equals to d dt cm equals to r omega r is constant d omega divided by dt equals to alpha so here we get r alpha so in the first case we have acm equals to r alpha 1 in the second case, we have ACM equals to R alpha 2. Simple relation, you can use them directly. Okay, in the case of translation and... Now, we calculated the velocity of the point uh, CM at any point at any position equals to r times omega at the time initial, for example. What about any other point? For example, I want to calculate this point or this point or any point. What is the velocity of this point? Let's say we have VA. You know, VA has a rotation and translation. Okay, so we have two values of velocity. We can say here, VA is, a rotate, uh, is rotating about uh, CM and in the same time is moving to the right. So we have the same velocity of VCM as a translational velocity plus rotation, which is equal to R times omega. Why? Because at this moment we have omega and V equals to R omega in the case of pure rotation. And we have translation. In this case, we have plus VCM. And you know, in this case, VCM equals to R omega plus R omega we get finally 2 r omega, or we can say it equals to v, uh, 2 v of the center of mass. Okay, so here we can say simply, this point has v cm equals to, equals to r omega, and this point equals to 2 VCM. What about this point here? The point in contact with the ground has no velocity because it's in contact with the ground, okay? Because to have a ruling and, uh, of this object, we have to fix this point to roll the object. Why? For example, if we have this object, I want to turn this object like this. After this, I can put it again. If I want to turn this object, I need to fix a point here in order to turn this object like this. And again, to turn this one, I have to fix one point to turn this up and so on. 
So you have to know simply the velocity of the point in contact with the ground equals to O, the velocity of the center of mass equals to R omega, and the velocity of the point here equals to 2 R omega. 